Have you ever broken the law? Okay, let me rephrase that. Have you ever been caught breaking the law? There's a pretty good chance that by the end of your day, you've broken the law in your state at least one time. Whether it's something innocent like rolling through a stop sign, or something more troublesome like following your ex-girlfriend to her job at Walmart to see if she's really hooking up with her manager, well, as you can imagine, Americans are real rule breakers. Did you know that one of every 100 Americans is locked up behind bars at any given time? It's true. Some of us are chronic lawbreakers and we never seem to learn our lesson. But oftentimes, we break rules we don't even know we're breaking. That doesn't necessarily get you out of trouble, but it brings up the point that there are some obscure and often even very odd state laws that exist. Today, we're going to talk about a bunch of funny, random, obscure state laws that you might not have even heard about. And after you watch this video, if you go to prison for, say, selling homemade brownies, you can't blame anybody but yourself because you knew better. So pull the blind shut and look over your shoulder as we go through some weird state laws that you probably haven't heard about before. Breaking the law, 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 breaking the law. All right, enough of that. We'll begin our rundown of weird state laws here in the state of Washington. Let's say you're out hiking in the woods and suddenly you spot Bigfoot. Of course, you can take a selfie because that's the first thing you think about doing, but don't kill it because in the state of Washington, you do that and you're guilty of a misdemeanor, mister, and might go to jail or get a big fine. He's nice. I don't know why you'd do that anyways. However, according to state law, if you're insane, you're not guilty of killing Bigfoot. So random. Let's talk about animals some more. Is Bigfoot an animal? So here in Oklahoma, there's a lot of skunks running around. Nobody wants to run across one because they can ruin your day. However, if you find a dead skunk or you ran it over, you are not allowed to make glue out of it. The rule states, no business of rendering, bone boiling, bone churning, gut cleaning, skinning, or making glue of any part of dead animals, drying, storing of blood, scrap, fat, grease, dried skunk hides, or green skunk hides. What's a green skunk? There's green skunks. They don't care about raccoons in Virginia, though. In Virginia, during certain hours of the day, you can't kill any nuisance species except for raccoons. You can kill them anytime you want here. Coons are a delicacy for many backwoods people in Virginia. It's how they survive, people. So we're here in New Jersey, a state with a bunch of criminals. But did you know that you can be fined between 50 and 250 bucks if you pump your own gas here? New Jersey is the only state in America where you are legally not allowed to touch the pump. When you pull in, an attendant will take your card, run it, and then pump your gas. In the winter, this is actually a benefit. Lots of people here still do break this law, and will hop out really quickly and pump and run before somebody has time to get to them, but do so at your own risk in the Garden State. Of note, Oregon used to be the only other state that you couldn't pump your own gas, but that law's been changed in many counties there. Remember what I said earlier about how every day each of us breaks a law at least once? You can bet that a ton of people in Tennessee are lawbreakers with this one. In Tennessee, it's illegal to use somebody else's Netflix account. According to the Tennessee Login Law, you can be fined up to 500 bucks for sharing login information for sites like Netflix, HBO Go, Hulu, Disney+, Amazon, Gmail, Sling, YouTube. If you eat somebody in Idaho, you can go to prison for 14 years. Cannibals are in the clear though, if they can prove they consume their neighbor as the only means to survival. Want to get all liquored up and grease up a pig and chase it around the barnyard? That's fine, as long as you don't do it in Minnesota. Here in the Gopher State, you can also not dye a baby chick different colors and sell them on Easter. I didn't even know that was a thing. Minnesota doesn't mess around when it comes to protecting barnyard animals, which is to prevent animal cruelty. You're also not allowed to throw turkeys or chickens up in the air with the intent to chase them around and catch them. Are people that bored in Minnesota that the only thing there is to do is chase animals around the yard? But don't laugh, California. In your state, if you hold a frog jumping contest and the frog has a heart attack and dies, you're not allowed to eat it. Why did they have to make that law? Gross. We're here in Maryland, where there isn't much traffic except in the greater DC area. However, if you get frustrated at the guy who just cut you off, you can be charged with the misdemeanor if you cuss at him. That's right, in Maryland, it's illegal to curse or swear or use obscene language upon or on any street, sidewalk, highway, or within the hearing of persons passing by. In West Virginia, there's a swear jar. Seriously, if you curse or swear in public, you can be fined exactly $1, which is a lot of money for people in West Virginia. 
In Mississippi, though, profanity in public could land you in jail for 30 days. So many f***ing laws in these states. Louisiana's full of really friendly people. In fact, most Louisianans will go out of their way to help a total stranger. However, don't send them a pizza or flowers. In Louisiana, it's illegal to place an order for goods for somebody who's not expecting the delivery. So if you want to do something nice, you have to call them and tell them ahead of time you're sending them a Hickory Farm sausage and cheese basket, or you're breaking the law. The punishment? Up to $500 or six months in jail. What the? What the? Did you know in Nebraska, if you have an STD, you cannot legally get married? It's true. Nobody really confesses that they have an STD, so this law is hardly enforceable. But if you have an STD and you're about to pop the question, you're also about to break the law, too. Hey, Happy New Year, Connecticut. Just promise to remember to obey all the laws tonight. Of course, that means no getting behind the wheel after you've been drinking. But it also means in the city of Southington, you're forbid to shoot silly string at people. You can also be fined if you sell silly string to somebody here. They made this law because back in 2017, during the city's Apple Harvest Festival, so many people shot silly string that it stained cars, ruined other people's clothes, and there was so much on the street that two police officers slipped on the stuff and crashed their police motorcycles. Well, in Mobile, Alabama, you can't throw confetti. In fact, simply handling confetti is unlawful here. What the what the? Winter's here, so many people are out in the snow having a good time, kids especially. But if you're a Wisconsin kid, watch it. In seven different cities in Wisconsin, it's illegal to throw snowballs in public. However, while it's technically illegal to throw snowballs in many cities here, nobody can remember the last time this law was actually enforced. So if you're inclined to do so, have some fun. But watch your back, fella. Now we talked about chickens and pigs and frogs already, but there's other states where weird laws apply to animals. In the state of Indiana, you're not allowed to shoot a fish or even catch a fish with your bare hands. So that means noodling is illegal. Now, Indiana also has a state law that says you can't take a fish from waters within state limits using dynamite either. Okay, that's probably a good law. But I can guarantee you there's a redneck out in the woods in Indiana right now who has done it. At least once. If you have a problem with being penalized for catching a fish with your bare hands, then you wouldn't want to live in Pennsylvania. Here, you can't catch a fish with your mouth. And you can bet there's some rednecks doing that in Pennsylvania right now too. Iowa folks don't have the healthiest diets. Many Iowans subsist on fried tenderloin, steak and potatoes, and a lot of beer. And they put butter on almost everything. However, Iowa does not tolerate fake butter. Imitation butter can't be called butter. It's called oleomargarine. Duh. And you can't put a picture of a cow on fake butter packages either. Now while Iowans put butter on everything, real butter I presume, the folks in Nebraska drink booze quite a bit. However, not if you mix beer and liquor. In Nebraska, you can't serve a drink that mixes beer and liquor. The most common of those drinks is called a boiler maker. Those aren't that strong. But bars can sell Long Island iced teas here, which are really strong, with like five different shots in them. So odd. I suppose this law is probably good for Nebraska's long-term health. Beer and liquor never been sicker, right? In some countries, they celebrate what's called Old Souls Day, when they honor their dead relatives by throwing a party on their gravesite. But not New Hampshire. There's a law that specifically says you can't throw a picnic in a cemetery. Who wants to eat at a cemetery? It's also illegal to drink booze at a cemetery in New Hampshire. Okay, that one makes sense. Here in my home state of North Carolina, gambling machines are all the rage, and legislators can't decide whether or not the video sweepstakes machines are legal or not. But what's not legal is playing bingo all day, at least in one given location. Bingo is considered gambling if an organization hosts more than five hours of bingo a day. And bingo was his name Mo. Since we're on the subject of gaming and entertainment, in South Carolina you can't play pinball until you're 18 years old. And in Arkansas, machine operators can't give away more than 25 free pinball games. Another law that pertains to entertainment, in Florida, bar owners can be fined $1,000 if they allow dwarf tossing on their premises. In Ohio, it pays to go to church, in more ways than one. Here in the Buckeye State, if you're on your way to or from church on Sunday, you can't be arrested, unless you commit a major crime like a DUI or felony. And according to state law, if a police officer arrests you while you're on your way home from church for a minor offense, said police officer must pay you 100 bucks out of his own pocket. Another weird law, in Columbus, Ohio, Kellogg's cornflakes cannot be sold on Sundays. 
Who eats cornflakes, anyways? Now, if they said you couldn't buy Lucky Charms on Sundays, well, then those are fighting words. Frosted Lucky Charms. They're magically delicious. Nobody likes a litter bug, right? People who litter are so darn lazy. Well, in Oregon, they don't tolerate littering either, especially if you throw poop out of a moving car. Okay, who does that? It's a $250 fine for chucking poo out of your window here. It's a class A misdemeanor if you leave a bottle of pee on the side of the road too. Why isn't this a class P misdemeanor? A lot of times people want to raise money for charity so they host bake sales. Not in Wisconsin though. You can actually face prison for selling home-baked cookies. What the what the? It's actually illegal to do that in New Jersey too, apparently. Now what's weird in Wisconsin is you can make and sell popcorn, maple syrup, and canned jars of fruits and vegetables. But if you want to bake some chocolate chip cookies for the church fundraiser here, sorry, your spatulas are tied. Wyoming has a state law that says it's a miscellaneous offense to forget to close a fence. That kind of rhymes. The state law says a person is guilty of a misdemeanor of up to 750 bucks if he opens and neglects to close a gate or replace bars in a fence, which crosses a private road, river, stream, or ditch. So many rules. And with that, we'll close this video. Our rundown of weird state laws that you probably didn't even know about. Hopefully next time you think about forgetting to close a fence or shooting a fish or even giving somebody your Netflix account password, you'll think twice. Now go out there and tow a straight line. Remember, everywhere you go, there's cameras everywhere. It's hard to get away with anything these days. Hey guys, if you learned something new or you just like this video, make sure to like it. And if you really like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get all of our videos about what it's like to live in different places in America. Peace.